maybe give the team a little bit of a spark and an edge. And this is one of the lines to start this game that a lot of people are going to look at if they can get some chemistry. So it's David Camp along with Alex Kerfoot and William Nylander who had a goal. Here you got all four lines for both teams now getting a chance to get into this game. So Engball drops back along with Spets and Simmons on the fourth line. Rebound chance in front. Roll wide and it deflects into the net. And the Anaheim Ducks have struck first. Max Comtois on the doorstep. And Here's another play with support off the wall. This rebound is right in front of the watch. You can see Engvall hit it right off of the pads of Jason Spezza. And Campbell's reaction, he has no idea where this thing is. It goes away from him and then off of the pad of Spezza as Engvall tried to clear it. Campbell looking to his left, doesn't know it. Gibson able to turn to the side. Matthews. Plays it back up top. Morgan Riley shot wide rebound. Oh, Gibson came across. And Rob Nylander again centered in front. It's in the crease. It comes out where Sam Carrick able to work it ahead. You don't play in this building a lot, but he's been able to read a couple of bounces off that lively backboards and made two good saves. This one, the best so far, is watch his quick reaction. Gets that right leg and pushes across to get the left, left pad down in time. And I think... The Cam Fowler there, but Nylander stays with it. Marner in front. Now Tavares is shot. Nylander can't pull the trigger. Oh, what a save on his wallet. And that one knocked down as Shat Kirk couldn't get it away. Nylander shot is blocked in front. Morgan Riley again. It's Marner fires. Scores. Marner power play goal. And the Leafs have tied it. Great chances, though, and good blocks by the Ducks. There's Fowler making the first block as Nylander tried to get it through. Little curl back on the top as Marner sliding back to his left. The one-timer that you don't expect. If you're John Gibson and you're thinking of where the threats are, you're not thinking Mitch Marner for the one-timer. You're looking to say, okay, where's Matthews going to be? A screen by his own man, Shattenkirk. Look at the reaction. Mitch and Riley, the fifth lead. Oh, the Leafs win the draw. Matthews lets him fly. Big pass stopped by Gibson. He's down and remains down. Uh, Leafs control the draw here in the final minute. It's the goal scorer, Marner. Tenth of the campaign. Riley across a one-timer right on. Tavares got the rebound. In behind the net. Nylander scores. And the Leafs have the lead on back-to-back. Off of the draw, that's the key first part here as Tavares gets the draw. Now, great quick puck movement as it goes down behind the net. You've got the threat of Matthews on the one-timer. Watch Tavares. Looks like he's going to go one way as soon as the goaltender head turns. Lindholm is worried about taking away Matthews. So Lindholm, watch him. He looks at Matthews and goes away from Nylander. Try to get it back to Durant. Band on it, but gets it back himself. Across for Sandine off the pike. Rasmus Sandine looking for his first of the year. Kerfoot knocked down. Camp gets it to the line. Justin Hall's got a lead to the net. And a pad stop by Gibson. And the Ducks play. Gloria stalling Dave Ellen with over 100 power play points. Look at Marder in. And Gibson stopped him. But another penalty. Leafs are going to get the five on three power play. Matthews again. Mitch Marner, his shot blocked by Getzlaff. Getzlaff, Shattenkirk, and Fowler, the defenders for the Ducks. 40 seconds left in the two-man advantage. Austin Matthews in for Tavares, scores! It's three, power play goal, and a 3-1 lead lead. And that forces the triangle to try to read. He got sliding down low, Tavares on one side. He was behind the net for a second, now he slides out. The attack by Matthews forces uh, just a freeze there by Shattenkirk. Look at his reaction. He's actually got no one. He's got no shot across, no passing lane there. And you can see on the doorstep, Riley was there. So it looked like to me, Gibson was thinking poke check on a pass across. Instead, he's halfway in his setup. And that one up and over, that look says it all. Establishes control and sets up Riley. Across Marner in the slot, back to Marner, off the goal post. Nylander, back to Marner, Nylander trying to come out in front. 
Gibson got a stick on that, disrupting it. And now Silverberg out of the box. It's a three-on-one. Jacob Silverberg scores from the penalty box to get the Ducks back on the board. In front and now Silverberg out of the penalty box and he goes up and over the glove. I mentioned what a night it's been for Jack Campbell. He's hardly been busy. Now all of a sudden you got a three-on-one. Your eyes are going one way. A smart Leaf back to full strength. Shattenkirk across it. That glances off the skate to Camp. Here's a pass across. Shattenkirk and Campbell comes across and makes a glove stop. In the building tonight. Morgan Riley in front. And off Matthews and Gibson will cover up with Matthews on the board. Catch. Last year, both he and Zegers played 24 games each. So that keeps them one game under so that they are rookies this year. Nice move by McKayev. Got tripped and loose in front. Oh, how did Gibson keep that out? Got the stick paddle down to Rob John Tavares. Now it's Nylander with Tavares and Marner. Is that little adjustment, as you were just saying, is McKayev moved down. Now it's played to the line for Shattenkirk. Shot scores! Kevin Shattenkirk. And maybe tipped in front. The game is tied. Great saves of one end. Could it just be one shot? That's the difference. Look at the tip. Is it too high? That uh, looks like it's under the bar. But Campbell expecting this one to come right into his body. Shattenkirk makes sure it just gets through. And yeah, that one looks like it's going to be underneath the bar and counting. No box out there by Dermott. Allows the stick to get free, and that little deflection fools Campbell. And Gibson was able to keep it within a two-goal game, and his team has rewarded him to get this thing to overtime. Welcome, viewers of the Calgary-Columbus game. Picks up speed. Trying to lose the checking of Zegras. He'll work in. Still with the and a backhand between his legs as he tried to... Hounding Lundestrom trying to pull away. Good stick by Tavares. Turns it over. William Nylander. Oh, what a stop. John Gibson again. And back the other way comes Anaheim. In the duck zone. Here's the turnover. Great hand-eye coordination by Tavares. It's going. 40 saves for Gibson. Now Riley trying to pull away. Got Nylander loose again. One more try. He pivots in front. Backhand stop. By Gibson. Kerfoot follows up. Here's the rookie running out of time. Can't pull the trigger. Played to the line, but not out. One last chance, perhaps. And swing and a miss from Raquel. Will hit to a shootout tonight. So Jason Spence is going to start for the Leafs. 0 for 1 on the season. Spence against Gibson. And a backhand beauty on six shootout attempts so far this season. And he just squeaks that pass, Campbell. Spins its way through into the back of the net. Matthews one for two so far this season. And he is two for two for the Leafs tonight. It's all night long, but this is just great puck movement again. No hesitation, good speed. Elander one for two, looking for the win, and Gibson denies it. And the Ducks are still alive. So Raquel's got a score. To keep it alive for Anaheim. And Jack Campbell makes the stop and wins the game. His 20th win of the year. The two goaltenders just got to make one save to get the win and good position. No chance for that one finding through Raquel. Tried to open him up five hole, unable to get there, and Campbell's biggest save is that one to secure the extra point.